Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so that was just a section from the build I used in my remix of Cedric Gervais' song "Molly" in the Beatport remix contest. Um, the voting has started today, so I would really appreciate it if you guys want to to follow the link below and vote for my remix. Um, but what I wanted to show you today was how I done the vocal rise because I didn't use a sampler like, you know, what would be the conventional method to do. So I just want to I'll play I'll solo it to play it to you again. So you can hear it. Dance, 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 dance. Um, yeah, actually, I just want to quickly point out that you will need either Reason 6 or Record to be able to do this technique because you need to be able to import audio files and, and cut them up like this. Uh, so, sorry guys if you're not using that yet. Um, but, you know, you're probably thinking, what's the point in this because you could just put it in a sampler. Uh, but, if you ever notice, once you've put a vocal line in a sample, sampler and you start to pitch bend it, by the time it gets to the top end, it starts to sound really fast and doesn't sound that great. So what I've done is I've just saved that sam single sample there and put it into an NN19, and I'll just show you what I mean. Like if we play it from here. So I just turn it up. It's quite quiet. Dance, 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 dance. Dance, 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 dance. So you hear when it gets up to here, the dance is really fast and it just doesn't sound that great. So this method, basically what I've done is I've, I'll zoom in a bit, I've chopped up the, the dance sample in individual sections, so they're half a bar each. Um, so I've done that all the way to the end and then what you want to do is start, make sure you see this transpose bit the, up here, make sure the first one starts at zero and then what you do is you just go along transpose it up, I've transposed it up one semitone at a time but you can do it whatever you want and I've just kept doing this all the way so three, four, five and then just all the way to the top and that way by the time you get to the top it it still it doesn't sound as speeded up as what it does when you put it through a sampler. So I'll just play it again. It's not quite as fast as what you hear when I played it up here in the sampler. So for that, it just, it just sounds a lot better basically. Um, but also I've done a couple other things to make it kind of. I gave it, tried to give it a bit more of a grainy kind of sound. So, if I just go to here, I've put on a screen for distortion unit set to digital, so it's a bit crusher. Set param 1 to 127, param 2 to 122, just touched up the high end a little bit. And then I've turned on the body just to give it that kind of grainy, I don't know, just kind of metallic kind of sound. Um. You can experiment with which type of body you want in your resonance and stuff like that. But what I've done is I have automated the scale. So the scale started down at the bottom and as the pitch went up, so did the scale. Uh, I also added a chorus flanger. So the delay set to 92, feedback set to 26, mod amount to 21, and the rate was at 93. And it's in send mode. Um just to give it a bit more depth and make the sample sound a bit more interesting and then I also added a unison which just thickens the sound, widens it a bit um, so the, yeah this technique can apply anything, it doesn't have to be a vocal sample um, it can be anything you want really but you do need the audio file to be able to do it and it goes up to well, you can transpose up to 12.31 yeah, 12 which yeah so 12, just basically 12 semitones but if you want to go even higher, what to do is take this last 
Um, last sample here is at 12.31 semitons. You right click on it, go bounce clips to disk, um, and then save it wherever you want. I'm just going to save it here. Uh, for, yeah, for save that. And then what you can do is import, file import audio. And here we go. So then this sample here has already started 12 semitones above this sample. So then what you can do is copy and paste that and then continue the process. Like so. So now what you've got is it continues to rise dance, past 12. Dance, 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 dance. So you can keep going and keep going and keep going if you really want to. All you need to do is resample the last um the last sample that's at the highest point, if that makes sense. So anyway guys, that was just a quick tip I wanted to share with you. Um if you have any ways of improving this any kind of cool reverbs you've added to it then share with us all in the comment section and um, yeah so cheers guys and if you have a spare five minutes i would really appreciate it if you vote for my remix in the competition and um, yeah cheers guys i'll see you next time